How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me. Uh, today's project is this John Deere uh, Pushmore JX75 uh, 6 horsepower and uh, it's coming with a no start condition so uh, what we're going to do is just kind of go through the basics here and kind of troubleshoot why this thing's not starting. So first things first, uh, let's see uh, if we got oil in it. And there's definitely some oil. Let's uh, check for fuel. And there's uh, definitely some fuel in there. Uh, the fuel valve is turned on. This looks like it has a uh, clutch for uh, blade engagement. Uh, that's why the handle's down here. Uh, let's see what else. It's pretty good, pretty dirty. Let's check out the air filter. I'll be honest, I've no, never worked on this particular model. Alright, air filter. Actually, it looks, looks brand new. I wonder if anyone's been messing around with this thing. Uh, Alright, well... I mean, spark plug wire is attached. So what we're gonna do is just do a function test and see if this thing will start up for us. So uh, up here, we've got all the controls. Uh, so we got choke control. Oh, it's very stiff. So we'll uh, make sure it's on full choke. And uh, we'll give it a couple pulls and see what we get. So let's go ahead and uh, throw some quick start in there. The air filter where the carburetor is. Alright, so the fact that it starts like that and stops uh, tells me it's pretty much a fuel problem. Uh, so we got spark, we got compression, and for combustion and um, so we're just looking at a fuel issue so it looks like we're going to be get diving into this carburetor i've not seen one of these before but um carburetor is a carburetor so i'll put you up on the uh put you up on the lawnmower stand and see uh, see if we can get this guy cleaned up so first thing i think i'm going to do is try and take this uh top cover off here Looks like there's four 10 mil nuts and washers. That looks like it's going to take the uh, starter recoil off. Just going to make sure I don't lose any of these washers. I'll come back to the starter recoil later. Uh, well, it looks like it's missing a, it's missing a pole. There should be one over here as well. I might have a spare one that might fit on here, I don't know. Uh, alright, so there are some sleeves on here too. So I think I'm going to take those off just so I don't lose them. Keep all this stuff together. Now... It looks like I have to take this whole uh, starter cup off. Take this off, and then this will come up. I don't see any other fasteners anywhere. Electric impact. All right, now this is just going to come right off. Except, I have to remove the fuel line, so I'm going to clamp that off. First of all, I'm going to close off the fuel nozzle. 
fuel control anyways. Shut off elf. Clamp this off. This looks like a 10 mil. Might just leave that right there where it is. Put that guy back so I know where it goes. Get this fuel line off. I'm going to clean out this fuel tank later. Alright, now to get to the carburetor. So it looks like there's a breather vent that just sits here. What I'm going to do is take a couple of pictures of this whole setup, including all these springs and stuff. So that way I can reference all this stuff when I go to put it back together. It looks like I'm going to need to take off this linkage, this back linkage. And uh, a couple of 10 mil bolts here. So I'm going to take a couple pictures. Okay guys, so I got all my pictures now. I think uh, where I'm going to start is just to try and remove these two 10 mil bolts. That might give me enough play to remove a lot of these uh, linkages. So, much like Hondas and stuff, I'm thinking there's probably all sorts of gaskets in between all these components. So I'm just going to be very careful if I can to try and not break any or uh, tear any of these gaskets because I imagine they're probably pretty hard to get. I don't think they're probably all that easy. So this front one is sort of a 90 degree bend. This back one is a standard Z bend. So this front one looks like it should just yeah, twist off there. That wasn't too hard. And then the Z bend, those ones are usually pretty easy. And then there's a uh, sort of a tension spring. So that actually was pretty simple much simpler than I expected. So I'm going to take you over to the bench now and uh, we're going to clean out this carburetor see what the insides look like. Alright so let's uh, get into this carburetor. 10 mil bolt on the bottom for the bowl nut. bowl nut is just that it's just a nut doesn't serve also as a jet at all all right 
So let's show you what the inside of this thing looks like. So just in the bowl itself, doesn't look too too bad except for look at look at that jello in there. That's that's old ethanol gas, guys. Alright, so I'll clean that out. The fuel in there had some jello in there as well. There's a little bit of water in there as well at the bottom. So this doesn't look all that nice. Alright. Put the pin out. Float seems good. Needle is super tiny. But the uh, rubber tip looks good. I'm going to leave that off to the side because I don't want to get any carb spray or anything on it. Alright, so I'm not sure that the choke was actually working on this thing. I don't remember seeing the linkage move. This is your choke butterfly and this back one here is for your throttle. I don't remember at all this thing moving when I was moving that choke lever so I'll we'll have to investigate that. Uh, Alright so there it looks like our jet and emulsion tube are up in here kind of like a Honda style. And what kind of carb is this? Oh it's a Makuni carb. Okay I've heard of them before I haven't really worked on them much. Alright, that jet doesn't look too bad. Well, there is an emulsion tube in there. I'm going to need to try and get out of there. Now in that emulsion tube there's a bunch of holes just kind of like the Honda style. So I gotta go through each of those holes, make sure that they're all cleaned up. Okay, so that's that. Looks like there might be an idle screw here, maybe. an idle circuit or an idle jet. I'll have to see if it's a jet or just a screw to cover the circuit. No, it's definitely a jet. So there's some holes here. And I suspect there's probably a little wee hole in the end here. I'm going to uh, check that out. carburetor goodies and I just have a little piece of wire brush on inside the end of a matchstick and that goes in nice and easy so it wasn't really clogged there might be a little bit of debris in there but it's pushed through now if that's the case these holes on the side are much bigger And uh, I wouldn't think that they would clog up there. And I don't see any clogs. This is all going in my ultrasonic cleaner anyways. Now, if you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, guys, just use a can of carb spray. 
and uh, just spraying all these little holes with the carb spray uh, on all your jets, your main jet, your idle jet, and then come back in here and then spray some of these other small holes as well. I'm going to probably do that anyways before I put in my ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, and then come in here, same thing, spray in all these holes and passageways. And then uh, blow it out with an air compressor if you have one. And then go ahead and put it all back together. So I'm going to clean that all up guys. I'll come back uh, when I have it all put back together, which will just be the reverse of the uh, taking it apart. So while we were off camera there, while I was uh, cleaning the uh, carb in the ultrasonic cleaner, a couple things I did. Uh, I checked the spark plug and uh, it looked really nice. It had a nice uh, sort of mocha coloring on the uh, electrode, uh, which is a sure sign that uh, the machine is running real nice. If it's white or black, then you have issues with the mixture being lean or rich. So that was good. Clean that up a little bit and then uh, regap the spark plug. Uh, I also uh, lubricated some of these uh, linkages uh, in addition to the cables. Sorry for the lighting, but uh, I, uh, I went ahead and lubricated the cables inside there. Now we're still going to have to try and check out this uh, choke uh, lever, see if that's operating properly. Uh, I also blew it all off, everything. Uh, made sure I blew all that off. And um, I also cleaned out the gas tank from the uh, old fuel. So now we're ready to put the carburetor back on. So I got the carburetor here. It's all uh, nice and clean now. Got my gasket to go back on. So I think what I'll start doing there is uh, putting on these linkages. I'll put in the... Uh, return spring first, that was the last thing to come out and then the Z-Bend and then this choke linkage will go on last now the choke linkage again, is not a Z-Bend, it's more just of a 90 so that's good So right now the choke is in the on position, so this choke valve, butterfly valve, should be closed when I put it all back together. So I'm just going to put this gasket on the uh, air intake. I think what I'm going to do is take the choke off for now. tightening here with a socket. You don't want to go too tight when you got plastic stuff. Just snug. This guy goes back there. Actually puts it back up there. 
Next, I'm going to put on the fuel tank. I've drained the fuel tank already. Blew it out. So it should be nice and clean. There we go. Hook this guy back up. Fuel line clamp. Get the fuel line in the back underneath. fuel line all right all right so I'm just gonna cinch down the starter cup So the next thing I'm going to have to do is address this uh, starter recoil here with this pull. I'm going to have to see if I have uh, an extra one that will work here. And uh, I hope so. I mean it was working with just the one but I'd like to get a replacement one so I'll see if I can find one of those. Okay guys so it turns out I don't have one that's just like this. Um, and I don't think you can buy just these dogs uh, individually. I just went on the John Deere site and they want something like $50, $60 American probably plus shipping to Canada for this whole assembly. So I know it worked before with just the one. I don't know how much longer it will work with just the one. But um, I guess what we're going to have to do is... Uh, Put it back the way it was and hopefully it lasts for the customer for a little while longer uh, or I'll ask them uh, if they want to replace that I would suggest they probably just not replace it unless it completely breaks and then might as well get whatever use out of it you can uh, all right so we got four Washers, four 10 mil nuts. All right, there we go. So she's pretty much all back together now, and uh. Unfortunately, I can't check this choke lever with all this. Put it back on. I, it does look low that it's. Nope. It does not look like it's moving this choke lever here. So uh, I gotta figure out why this is not moving. Well, it seems to get stuck. I'm pretty sure this is as far up as this lever will go. So we're going to have to assume it's closed. Alright, I'm going to put it back down here and uh, we're going to go ahead and test this out. 
All right guys, so I uh, just put some fresh fuel in there. I opened the fuel valve and uh, doing a bit of a leak check here. I don't see any uh, leaks at this point, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna go ahead and try and fire this thing up and see what happens. All right, choke on. Choke's moving all the way. I can't see it moving any further than that. Let's uh, open this uh, drain plug up and we'll see if there's any fuel coming out of there. Yep, we got fuel. Let's try it again. Alright guys, so it did take a long time for this thing to fire up. Uh, what is that, five to eight pulls, something like that. Uh, I, I still question the choke uh, fully closing. I don't know. I'm going to have to let it cool down and uh, retry the choke system again tomorrow. But um, anyways guys, I think uh, we'll call this one a success. And if there's anything else to report on the uh, choke situation, I will go ahead and record that and let you guys know. But otherwise, uh, we got it running. And uh, just be a clean up, oil change, blade sharpen, and uh, we'll get it back to the customer. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. And uh, please go ahead and hit the like button at the bottom there and uh, the subscribe button to uh, get all my new content that's coming out. And until next time, take care.